Yeah, the controversy at the Vishwa Bharati University in West Bengal has escalated with the university now turning on Mamta Banerjee after the chief minister came at the defense of Amrit Sen, Nobel laureate Amrit Sen, and accused the university of saffronization of the campus. The university now issued a very strong worded statement after the chief minister's visit to Amrit Sen's residence in Shanti Niketan, where she asked the pro BJP saffronized authority she in fact said that the pro bjp saffronized authorities at the university not to d disrespect uh, a respected personality like amrathya sen uh, her attack was on the vice chancellor let me very quickly at this moment in fact uh, go across uh, to uh, the vice chancellor of the viswabharati university mr uh, Bidhu Chakravarti, who is joining us at this moment. So thank you so much uh, for uh, speaking uh, to NDTV. I want to start by asking you, sir, uh, you know, you've been accused. The letter that uh, the Vishwa Bharati University or the statement that the Vishwa Bharati University has put out uh, has uh, some very harsh words as far as the chief minister is concerned. In fact, the letter goes on to say uh, that uh, they, you and your university is better off without her blessings and you have the Mark Darshan of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The TMC is saying you are speaking like a BJP spokesperson. But Ankit, tell me what do you mean by political? You know, I, I simply say that before this visit, uh, CM visited this district several times and CM used to bank up on one individual who is being charged with all kinds of corrupt practices. Now he is behind bar at this point of time. Now, he, she did not talk about him. She didn't even mention his name ever. So I think, you know, uh, uh, at one point of time, he happened to be your savior. Now, because uh, he is in trouble, CM completely just pushed him out of, you know, her thinking. And my um, uh, response is based on the fact that that gentleman used to abuse me almost every day and I wrote to the CM several times saying, Madam, I don't deserve to be abused uh, by this gentleman who is academically nowhere near me, but at the same time, because he's the district president of your party, please restrain him hmm. because Vishwabharati is not just a university. Okay. It represents the political, ideological priorities of a great man like Rabindranath Tagore. So I think as Bengali, as Indian, as right. part of humanity, right. we have the responsibility of protecting this great institution. Okay. But, but sir, you know, uh, you are saying and uh, that there are others as well who allegedly are in possession of the university land. That's what the university keeps uh, harping on. But you've specifically named and singled out Dr. Amrath Sen. Is this because he is viewed as critical? As far as the Modi government is uh, uh, you know, concerned, he's critical of the Modi government. No, no, and I, that's no, the I, I have already sent letters to those who are uh, land grabbers in our records. So, Professor Sen, uh, we have been in touch with him. And uh, in 2010-11, he asked our uh, staff uh, from the estate department uh, to negotiate uh, with him on this particular issue. And he identified a land. Uh, which w was located just behind the main house where he lives. But okay. university declined to give, uh, accept that land simply because there was no entry point. And let me also share with you right. the land which he um, took illegally was not actually an open, uh, was, uh, was a, a road which was taking, which was going to the tribal, you know, Mahulla. But um, uh, somehow or the other, he took that land inside his campus. And I told him that since you don't, you hardly live in Vishwabharati uh, campus, if you, you know, g give up this, uh, you know, little land, 13 decimal is nothing in land, then probably, you okay. know, it, it would have uh, sent a good message to the rest of the land grabbers. Uh, and we could have, you know, uh, uh, reinforced our point. Okay. That, see, okay. here is Professor Sen who is so magnanimous that who returned the land in response to a request, you please do the same thing. So it was not an attempt to humiliate a person of the stature of Professor Amartya Sen, but it was okay. actually a, a desire, an endeavor on our part to uh, reclaim the land 
which legally belongs to Vishwabharati and also to warn others that, you know, please give the land to Vishwabharati because if we do not, you know, get, uh, start the process now in the long run, the entire land uh, of Vishwabharati will be grabbed okay, by the right. land no, grabbers. But you're using but you're using, sir, very uh, strong words, uh, calling them land grabbers. I mean, there could, uh, uh, you know, but you've also said that there is also option of going to the court. But the fact is that the chief minister, when she came here, she rubbers these allegations. She also produced some papers as well. And she said that these allegations of land grab are nothing uh, but just an insult. Uh, and she alleged that you are insulting an esteemed personality like Professor uh, Sen. You see, uh, Ankit, uh, as I said, I have no desire. I have no desire to insult a person of the stature of Professor Amartya Sen. In fact, I learned a lot from him. But here, I just would like to put forward uh, certain facts. And, you know, Pro Mamta Banerjee had shown the land record of 1943 when land was leased, you know, because you cannot buy land in Vishwabharati. You know, the entire uh, the, uh, piece of land belongs to Vishwabharati and we give the land on lease. So um, Amartya Sen's um, grandfather was a leaseholder and so was his father, Professor Ashutosh Sen. And that particular deal was signed in 1943. Now, as you know, in case of lease land, you cannot occupy the land once you uh, depart, once you, you know, die. So the land which was given to Professor Asutosh Sen return, was returned to Vishwabharati as soon as he passed away. And then till um, he passed away in the, in the 60s. And till 2006, hmm. the land actually belonged to Vishwabharati. Okay. And then in 2006, we did a mutation to transfer the land from um, uh, Professor Asutosh Sen to his heir, Professor Amartya Sen. And 2000 deed clearly says that Vishwabharati transferred 1.25 decimal of land. Now I'll give you another evidence that right, for sir. for for you know transfer of one bigha of land, the government charges 5,000 rupees. Now if you multiply 125 by 5,000 rupees, you will get the amount 18,940 rupees. So which means Amartya Sen knew that he was giving uh, tax for only 1.25 decimal of land. So why okay. does the story of 1.38 comes? Now, please, I, I am trying, requesting the Honorable CM to show us any land document okay. which was uh, there at her possession after 2006, because officially Vishwabharati transferred that yes. land to okay. a new leaseholder Professor Amartya Sen in okay. the of Professor Asutosh Sen only in 2006. Okay. No, but, but what I want to understand from you, sir, uh, you're making, you're making up a point, uh, the government has a different view and the option of the court is always open. But the way you are representing the Vishwa Bharati University, it's, the university is just not about the vice chancellor. It's just not about you. It is also about the people and the students and the other professors and everybody else who make that university. Uh, there have been allegations of you being uh, high-handed as far as uh, those uh, professors and students and those who are concerned, those who are critical of your decisions. And uh, b the government, uh, in fact, and the TMC accuses you of doing the BJP's bidding just because you are a political appointee you see, or you are an appointee land as far belongs as the, to uh, central me. government is concerned. And if Go I ahead, ask sir. him to return the land to me, this is not disreputation of an individual. This is simply stating the fact that whatever you are doing is illegal, you may be a big man, you may be a, a learned individual, you may be a globally reputed academician. Yeah. But you know, in so far as law of the land is concerned, you did something which is illegal. So right. I did simply raise this issue. 